r slash ask reddit have you had sex with someone with a disability like a wheelchair user if so how was it if not would you consider it well did it work i had sex with a burn victim a one third of her body was badly scarred from an accident as a child it was like the softest leather imaginable pat me serial killer comment do you work in upholstery anako was she from Corinth by any chance? Had a one night stand with a one legged woman once. Honestly didn't know to the next day when I seen her leg at the bottom off the bed. The sex was seven tenths. Joey Tribune. I have a disability. The reviews have been mostly positive, but would you really tell someone with a disability that they are a lousy lay? As a wheelchair user, these threads are always super funny to me. I've been with another wheelchair user before. Had tons of fun. He was another ambulatory user like me. Depends. Did the disability contribute to the lousy lay or were just a lousy lay? I did have sex with a guy in a wheelchair, it was just a hookup and we both had a nice time. I don't know the full extent of his disability but it was mostly his legs that didn't function properly, couldn't walk. I don't think it changed many things except maybe finding a good position was a bit harder. Isn't cowgirl the only aviable option? My fiancé uses a wheelchair as he was born without legs. I was unsure how bedroom business would work at first, but he took the lead and it's been awesome ever since. We're getting married in April and I wouldn't change anything. Wait. So if a genie said he could walk, you'd say not nah, I'm good. I knew a guy with one leg, removed below the knee. He used to stump his G slash F. He made it sound like she was into it. Okay, so I'm scrolling through the comments here and see that I've somehow already upvoted you before even getting to your comment. Reddit new ID see this and come to ask, why the fuck? So good they said they couldn't feel their legs afterwards. Anyways he'll be going to hell later. I laughed, so I'll see you there buddy. Sex with deaf girl. 11 tenths. Hot as hell. Does not fake moan and communication was 10 tenths, surprisingly. Was it really good? Rename this sub to r slash share your sex stories. Seriously. It's been nothing but sex questions for the last week or so. Hooked up with a deaf girl, very loud. Roommates pounded on the wall, had to switch things up so she could bury her face in the pillow. Besides that it was normal slash good, I do admit I felt like I was putting in work because she was so loud. I have spina bifida and a full-time wheelchair user. I have full feeling everywhere and have an amazing sex life with my partner. I have no problem making her orgasm. My disability doesn't affect my sex life in any way. Hey this is out of nowhere, but get yourself screened for PUF60 gene mutations. There is a study currently being conducted to determine if there is a link between SB and PUF60 mutations. I would, since I'm disabled myself, blind. Her being in a wheelchair wouldn't bother me at all or factor into my attraction for her. Fellow purple blind person. I haven't but I would. My vagina doesn't discriminate. I use a wheelchair, finding a good position can be hard since I have minimal control over my legs and I can't really get on top, but from what I've been told I have an excellent tongue which balances things out. I lost my virginity to a guy with cerebral palsy, and dated him for months after. That aspect of him I had no issue with. The consistent sexual coercion, not putting any effort in during, and not being able to feel him inside me did put a damper on things. I like to pretend he didn't happen, for the above and other reasons. Do you actually feel something down there? And how you guys make it? Can you move your hips or you guys hump each other with your arms? Did you guys fall down during the act and was like yep now we need someone to help me get up, this will be awkward. Sorry for asking but how come not be able to feel him inside you? It was a him problem. Too small. Disability related. I had a threesome with a blind couple. It was really good. They were lovely people. Did they know? Okay, there's a story in how that came to pass. Wow once again I'm so overjoyed this post is doing well. As a straight guy with cerebral palsy who uses a wheelchair long distance I can't believe the sheer number of people who have reached out. I can still be intimate but unfortunately it's hard to meet open-minded people. Let's open hope to change views on sex and disability. He'll respond to comments when I can. Somehow, I feel that this question was asked for the curiosity of how come Stephen Hawking did it. Didn't he even cheat on his wife or something like that? The best part is getting to say that I fucked her so hard, 
she couldn't walk afterwards, she is cool with me saying that, definitely ask your wheeled partner before saying anything like this in public. My girlfriend at the time had spinal muscular atrophy. The sex was weird, she was quite enthusiastic about it, at least, she expressed that to me, but couldn't really do anything about it. Much more of an intellectual experience than I'd like. Made me realize how incredibly important physical feedback is during sex. Yep. Dated a guy with MD in high school, he was wheelchair bound. It was pretty much like any other kind of sex, honestly. I generally got on top or we had side by side sex. When his body didn't oblige us, we had fun with hands, toys, and mouths. Ten tenths would do again. Wow thanks for all the responses as a guy in a wheelchair it can be hard to meet open minded women. Wasn't sure how well this would do. I have cerebral palsy fully independent can still have sex but sadly there is still a stigma around disability. Hopefully better days are ahead. Had sex with a man who was in a wheelchair, all was fine, laughed of what didn't work, like doing him doggy, but mostly just a regular lay all things considered. He was good in bed with a lovely personality so I was happy as a fed pig, smiley face. I put your mom in a wheelchair, Trebek. Damn it Connery. Fine, I'll pick. Potent potables for $200. Once I matched with this girl online. We were both attracted to each other but she had just recently broke her leg. I was so horny I convinced her to come over with a full cast on. She was pretty kinky and we had some great sex. Couldn't you at least come to her place? I have. She was paralyzed from the waist down. Her legs were kind of stiff when I folded her into a pretzel but it's one of the best nuts I've ever had in my life. She was a freak, respectfully. We still keep in touch. Folding her into a pretzel ha ha ha. Sex is sex at the end of the day my partner is a tetraplegic, can't feel a lot below his chest, we make it work for us as sex isn't just about slamming it, it's about touch and connection, physically and mentally, if there's any slamming to be had then it's my job he just provides the equipment and takes great joy in watching me use it. Is there a fixed rotation of bots asking the same questions over and over in the sub? Not me. Back the AOL days a friend hooked up with a paraplegic. Best part was he lived in a house with a roommate. His bedroom was in the basement. So he had to carry her down the steps and lay her on the bed. My husband was a double amputee we were married for nearly 23 years of which 10 he had no legs below the knee. I had sex with a blind person once. She was 19, completely blind in both eyes and used a walking stick to get around. I actually had to carry her to my app because I lived on the third floor and the elevators were out and I felt bad making a blind person walk up three flights of stairs even for sex lol. Long story short, blind women definitely like to use their other senses because she was so loud my neighbors complained to my app manager. She was just feeling you out with echolocation. I met up with a guy I met on Tinder who was paralyzed from the waist down. From what I remember he had a medical problem that doctors ignored which caused him to become paralyzed. It was like the hookup was just to see if I could get his dick to work again. It was kinda sad though. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.